It's the magic of math here, and today we're going to identify an algebraic expression to represent a real-world situation. Here's our question today. We have a box that has a mass of 50 grams. Marbles will be added to the box. Each marble has a mass of 3 grams. If n represents any number of marbles in the box, which expression can be used to find the total mass in grams of the box and the marbles? And you're given four answer choices to pick from. So four different algebraic expressions to represent this real world situation. Here's where I would like you to pause the video, do your best work, and then come back to see mine. Good luck. Welcome back. Understanding, we're going to identify which expression below is going to represent this real-world situation. So we're told that we're going to find the total mass in grams of the box and the marbles. So let's start with the box. We're going to draw a box, and we're going to identify that we're adding a bunch of marbles to the box. Let's go up and understand that our box has a mass, so that box weighs 50 grams. Now we need to talk about our marbles. We're going to add marbles to the box, and each marble is 3 grams. So we're not just adding one marble to the box. We're adding n marbles to the box. So that means n is representing the number of marbles, but it's an unknown amount. It could change. It could be variable. So we're going to add the variable n, seeing as we don't know how many marbles at 3 grams a piece are going to be in there. But if I know the number of marbles n and I multiply it by 3, that will represent the weight of the marbles. So for example, if I know there's 3 marbles in the box, 3 times 3 tells me that 3 marbles weighs 9 grams. So we're going to leave n as our variable. And we're going to rewrite this picture into an algebraic expression. So we're going to take our 50, we don't need the grams because it's just a number 50, and we're going to add to it 3 times the number of marbles. We don't know, again, this is an unknown number, it could vary, but each of these is going to weigh 3. So 50 for the box, add 3 times the unknown number of marbles. Now we're ready to go look at our expressions. So I look over here and I can see that our answer choice is D. 50 for the box, add 3 times the number of marbles. And there you have it. That is how you identify an algebraic expression representing a real world situation. I thank you for joining me today at The Magic of Math, where we continue to master math one video at a time. Thanks for joining me today and I hope you come back soon.